Converting hours to hours and minutes. You have to convert hours to hours and minutes to complete estimated time of arrival problems. Let's look at a few examples. And right off the bat, before you get confused at all, I want to tell you to convert hours to minutes, you multiply by 60. If you're confused at all during this, just remember that. To convert hours to minutes, you multiply by 60. It's that easy. So to convert hours to minutes, multiply by 60. Keep that in mind. It's not that confusing. That's all it is. To convert hours to minutes, multiply by 60. So here's the first example. 1.5 hours equals how many hours and how many minutes? We take this one. This is a full hour. So one hour. 0.5 hours, that's half an hour, which you know is 30 minutes. So we, we just multiply 0.5 hours times 60, and we get 30 minutes. And here's the math down here. This is already one hour. And then 0.5 hours times 60 equals 30 minutes. So one hour and 30 minutes. Now we have 1.25 hours. Again, use your mental math. 0.25 hours is a quarter of an hour. That is 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes is 0.25 hours, 30 minutes is 0.5 hours, 45 minutes is 0.75 hours. So use your mental math, you do these every day. But let's look at this example again. 1.25 hours, we know we have one hour, and then that 0.25 hours, 0.25 hours times 60 equals 15 minutes. And this is just the example with the math. So this is where you will be doing these problems and we are going to solve these problems here under the solutions. So let's look at 0 0.75 hours. We know this is zero full hours and now 0.75 hours equals how many minutes? Well we know it to be 45 just from our mental math but let's do it. 0.75 hours times 60 equals get out our calculator 0.75 times 60 equals 45 minutes. 45 minutes. The second one, 2.33 hours equals how many hours and how many minutes? We have your full hours here, 2, and now we got 0.33 hours times 60 equals. And this is the third of an hour. It's going to be somewhere around 20 minutes. Clear. 0.33 times 60 equals 19.8 minutes. 19.8 minutes. We round this up. This 0.8 is greater than 0.5, so we round up. Anything 0.5 or greater, round up. If it's less than 0.5, round down. So 19.8 minutes rounds up to 20 minutes. Right? 20 minutes. And then over here, 2.65 hours. The two goes here. 0.65 hours times 60 equals clear. And we say 0.65 times 60 equals 39 minutes. We'll go on. 1.12 hours is how many hours and how many minutes? We have the one, one hour, and 0.12 hours times 60 equals. Clear. 0.12 hours times 60 equals 7.2, which rounds down, right, to 7 minutes. 1 hour, 7 minutes. 3.9 hours, we take this 3, this is 3 hours. 0.9 hours times 60 equals, get our calculator, 0.9 times 60 equals 54 minutes. Equals 54 minutes. 54 minutes. And now, 1.1 hours. This one hour is good. One hour. 0.1 hours times 60 equals. Clear. 0.1 times 60 equals. Six minutes. Six minutes. All right, and now, one last question. Why does multiplying by 60 get you from hours to minutes? Let's look at this example up here, right here. 
It says, why does multiplying by 60 turn hours to minutes? So we have this example. If we have 0 0.5 hours, we put it over 1, right? That's the same thing, 0 0.5 hours, times by 60 minutes per 1 hour. What happens is these hours are on top, these are on the bottom. They cancel off, you're left with minutes. So it's equal to 30 minutes, right? It's just 0.5 times 60 equals 30 minutes. These hours cancel, you're left with minutes. Don't let that confuse you. What you need to remember is this. To get from hours to minutes, you times by 60.